So plagiarists are kind of the worst. They are exploitative, they take other people's work without permission, without credit, and pass it off as their own. And when professionals do it, it's even worse because that tends to ruin the reputation of the company who might have hired the individual who plagiarized work. And this is sort of what's been happening with a video that Sony put out to promote the lineup for PlayStation 4 in Japan. So this is the video in question, re-uploaded by W Gaming. This video has been pulled down because of allegations and accusations that animations used in what is a music video have been ripped off from a bunch of other sources by a well-known professional animator. So here's a glimpse of what this video looks like. As you can see, there's plenty of animation work here. Looks really cool, super stylized, and if it were original, I would applaud it. But as we'll see soon, a lot of this animation has been directly copied and pasted. And while the art isn't exactly the same from the work that it copies, you will see that the animation is so exactly the same that it's hard to argue that this work has been plagiarized. Here's more glimpses of the animation. And we will soon see comparison videos and clips posted by other people that clearly indicate this is a clear-cut case of plagiarism. So with that out of the way, let's check out this tweet by Twitter user Katsuka who posted the following. Latest Sony PS4 lineup music video is a rip of many animations from all around the world. Steven Universe, FLCL, Goblins, Suvain's Tenzan. The video is now offline. You can still find it online. So this is the video posted by Sony, which is now set to private. And then this is the re-upload by another user who decided this should be out there so that people can see the clear-cut plagiarism. But this Twitter user has provided a side-by-side -side comparison of some of the animation work from other people and other shows, some of them really high profile, and compared it to the Sony PS4 lineup music video animation. And I'm going to maximize this and you'll see the, the copy and paste work is pretty blatant. So this is from Steven Universe, FLCL. Last word, Oleg Kozitsin. And various other artists, some small, some big. It, I mean, it, there's no question, is there? I mean, come on. Yeah, this is bad. This is real bad. I mean, this is the Philip Mewson equivalent of animation, basically changing the homework just a little bit in an attempt to ensure people don't notice that it's copied work. When you put these two side by side, other than, you know, the layer of paint added on top that is different from what you see on the left, the animation framework is damn near identical, if not exactly the same. And then here's another tweet by Thomas Weeding, who contacted Thea Glad, the animator of this little animation here, to inform this individual of the fact that the Sony PS4 lineup music video has that exact same animation blatantly featured in the video. As for who is responsible for this whole fiasco, who is responsible for copying and pasting other people's animation and passing it off as their own? Well, according to Katsuka right here, the director and animator of that PS4 lineup video is a man named Kevin Bao. More information on who he is can be found on this PlayStation blog page featuring the artist as well as the video which has since been taken down. Now all of this is obviously in Japanese but news outlet Eurogamer has translated the information on that page and they have transcribed that information as follows. Kevin Bao, a Canadian director who's received awards from the Ottawa International Animation Festival and London International Animation Festival and has previously created videos for major clients such as Disney. So this guy is pretty high profile. I mean, the fact that he's creating a promotional video for a major company like Sony, for a major brand like PlayStation already says a lot about how extensive this guy's portfolio is. Now we're learning that the guy is a plagiarist and 
This isn't the first time this has happened since allegations of plagiarism and accusations of plagiarism have been making the rounds. People have discovered other instances in which there is a clear cut case of plagiarism. So here we have a post by Twitter user Insom who published this side by side screenshot showing an animation by somebody else and then Kevin Bao's animation. And if you play the video side by side, you would see that the animation framework is exactly the same. This is from two years ago, and we're seeing cases of plagiarism. And that's the thing with plagiarists. They are repeat offenders. They have been doing this for so long that they've gotten complacent. They think they can get away with it until the day they are ousted as a plagiarist, at which point people will look through their whole work and draw comparisons and realize that this plagiarist has been copying other people's work for a while now. We have seen this happen before. Recall Philip Mewson, the plagiarist who worked for IGN before he was fired after his Dead Cells review was ousted as plagiarized. He too had an extensive history of plagiarism that wasn't discovered until after his Dead Cells review was prominently ousted as having straight up ripped somebody else's review, a smaller YouTuber's review of that game. Plagiarists are straight up predatory and often tend to use smaller creators work for their own benefit because it is less likely that they'll be discovered that way. Now, this guy, Kevin Bao, I just don't understand the mentality. This guy's high profile. Sony is a high profile company and PlayStation is a high profile brand. I don't know how he thought that nobody would draw connections with a video as prominent as a PlayStation 4 lineup video. And I don't know how he thought he'd get away with copying animation from major high profile works like Steven Universe. This guy's just kind of a moron, and now his career's gone down the toilet. As Katsuka tweeted right here, his official page on Connection Agency website is now also offline. Here is what that looks like. Connection is an agency that connects people with artists. His page has been deleted. The guy's also been going incognito. A lot of his social media profile pages have gone dark or private or been deleted outright. So this is what his Instagram account looks like now. Sorry, this page isn't available. And then right here, Katsuka points out another case of plagiarism from way back when, but the tweet has been deleted, so I don't know what this tweet entailed, but from what I gathered, from what I've heard, something about YouTube gaming live animation that was copied. And then here we have a message from another agency, an animation agency called Elon Animation. And this agency posted a tweet on this whole Kevin Bao debacle, which reads as follows. We had no knowledge that the work produced by Kevin Bao was plagiarized. We have ceased with immediate effect any representation of Kevin Bao's work and have contacted Kevin for a response. Yikes. The same company also provided additional clarification on this whole situation with the following statement. Concerning news about us from some media outlets, there have been some articles and posts on the internet recently implying that our company was involved in the works of a man who had purportedly taken part in plagiarizing the works of others. These reports that we were involved in the specified project, the PS4 lineup music video, however, are patently false, and we were in no way involved with the reported works. It is true that the report reported individual was a member of EOL in Japan from 2016 to 2017, but he has long since left the company. As such, we are in no place to respond to any inquiries regarding this matter. So basically this agency saying, yes, we have worked with Kevin Bao in the past, but that's no longer the case. And we were in no way, shape or form involved in the creation of that PS4 lineup video. So now the assumption is that maybe the connection agency which has deleted the Kevin Bao page, was maybe the one involved with connecting Kevin Bao to Sony. It's clear that Kevin Bao is an outside contractor who was hired to animate the video, so I don't believe he's like a permanent employee at Sony. Speaking of Sony, they seem to understand the gravity of this situation as they have removed the page of the PS4 lineup video on their website. They have also completely deleted this page in which they share information about Kevin Bao that I previously showed you guys. 
I haven't reloaded this page, it's the only reason why it's still up, but if you do reload it, that would look something like this. It'll give you a 404 error indicating that the page is no longer available. And with Sony having pulled down this video right here before it was re-uploaded by other users, it would seem as though they agree that the video is a violation of any ethical standards when it comes to creative work, that this is blatant plagiarism. And this all sucks for Sony because this isn't their fault, right? I mean, the company hires tons of people, and with a professional like Kevin Bow, they expected that with him having won awards and having worked for other prolific companies, that he would put out work with the utmost integrity but now we're learning that he's a plagiarist. Now we're learning that he's done this in the past. Now we're learning that this man is not to be trusted with any creative endeavors. And that's the thing about plagiarists, something they don't understand, especially those working at a professional level. They don't understand the kind of damage they can cause if they are ousted. Not only is this going to put a damper on Sony's reputation, but furthermore, Sony now has to rework their lineup video, this big marketing push that they were going for. They have to redo that due to the fact that none of this animation is original work and that renders this whole video useless and a legal liability. Sony rightfully pull this video down and now all they have to do is give out a statement and explain what happened. They're still probably investigating the issue, getting the facts together before putting out a statement on exactly what happened. But I don't get the sense that Sony is at fault here. I get the sense that Sony is also a victim of this guy's dickery. Not to mention that it's incredibly difficult to trace plagiarism, especially when it's a visual creative work like animation where you have to see the work side by side to tell if something's been plagiarized. This reminds me of that whole situation with Philip Mewson and IGN, where Philip Mewson's Dead Cells review was straight up just a copy and paste of a smaller YouTuber's uh, review of Dead Cells. And Philip Mewson did change some words around, but the framework was exactly the same. It was very clear that he straight up copied and pasted. And yes, IGN hired the guy, but there is no way that IGN could have known since nobody else knew that the guy was a plagiarist. He seemed like a cool guy. He seemed to upload good videos, well edited, that were his original work. Nobody could have known until the day he was ousted as a plagiarist, until the day the guy decided idiotically to take somebody else's work and put it up on a major outlet like IGN, expecting that nobody would notice, especially the original creator of that review. Just, uh, plagiarists are just so dumb, I, I just don't get these guys. But much like with how I believe IGN was a victim of Philip Mewson, I do believe Sony was a victim of this Kevin Bao fellow. And now it's up to Sony to respond appropriately, put out a statement, and ensure that they take the appropriate measures and actions to ensure that people are notified of what happened, and to ensure that the animators are given a proper apology for this unfortunate incident. As for Kevin Bao, his career is over. This news is going to spread like wildfire. Nobody's going to hire him. No agency is going to hire him. No company is going to hire him because of this gross error in judgment. He brought this on himself. He's going to have to deal with the consequences. I wouldn't be surprised if Sony pursues legal action because of the damage this guy did. But yeah, this whole situation just sucks for everyone. It sucks for Sony, who were damaged in more ways than one. It sucks for the various agencies who worked with Kevin Bao, who have to bear some of the responsibility, who might have connected Kevin Bao to all these other companies who now might have plagiarized work in their midst. It sucks for the artists and animators whose works were ripped off and possibly used for Kevin Bao's own rise in the animation industry. And... It all goes to show, once again, that plagiarism is not a victimless crime. Just don't plagiarize. Don't do it. I mean, trust in your own work. Trust in your own creativity. The fact that you have to resort to plagiarism only indicates that you're insecure about your own creative work or that you have no creativity whatsoever and that you're just a phony. Don't be a moron. Plagiarism, if you keep doing it and doing it, it will eventually catch up to you, especially on a professional level, especially when you are doing high tier stuff like working for Sony, working for Disney. The more prominence you gain, the more of a reputation you earn through your work, the more likely it is that somebody will eventually notice that, hey, that looks similar, that looks familiar, and oust you, 
as the morally corrupt and uh, dumbass and creatively bankrupt individual you are. But anyway, I've said all there is to say about the matter. Let me know in the comments below what your take is on this whole situation with Kevin Bao and Sony. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.